Today, we delve into the annals of history to uncover the story of the Vietnam War. To truly understand this complex and tumultuous time, we must first journey back to the mid-19th century, when Vietnam was under the colonial rule of the French. This period was marked by resistance, revolts, and the relentless pursuit of independence. Fast forward to post-World War II, the landscape of Vietnam dramatically changed. The country was divided into two, North Vietnam, under communist rule, and South Vietnam, leaning towards the West. This division was more than just geographical, it was ideological, setting the stage for a conflict that was about to unfold. At the same time, the world was caught in the throes of the Cold War, a silent battle between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union. The stakes were high and Vietnam became a chessboard for their ideological contest. As the Cold War intensified, so did the stakes in Vietnam, leading to a conflict that would last for decades. The year was 1955 and the stage was set for a war that would shape the course of history. In the heart of Southeast Asia, a conflict was brewing that would mark a significant chapter in the annals of global warfare. The Vietnam War, as it would come to be known, was a complex and turbulent period, deeply rooted in the ideological battle between communism and democracy. This was not a traditional war, it was a war of ideologies, a struggle for power and control, fought not only on the battlefield but also in the hearts and minds of the Vietnamese people. The Viet Cong, the South Vietnamese communist rebels, were formed in this very crucible of conflict. Their aim was clear, to reunite Vietnam under a single communist regime. The Viet Cong's strategy was one of guerrilla warfare, a style of combat characterized by small mobile forces using hit-and-run tactics against a larger, less mobile traditional military. This proved to be a formidable challenge for the South Vietnamese and their American allies. The American involvement in Vietnam was a gradual process. Initially, the United States merely provided financial aid and military advisors to the South Vietnamese. However, under the leadership of President Kennedy, this involvement escalated. The stakes were high, and the fear of a domino effect, where one country after another would fall to communism, was a driving force behind the American decision to intervene more directly. Yet the more the United States became involved, the more complicated the situation became. The war was not only fought on the battlefield, but also in the political arena, with public opinion playing a significant role. The American public was divided, and this division only deepened as the war dragged on. And so, the stage was set for a conflict that would last for nearly two decades, claim countless lives, and leave an indelible mark on the world. The Vietnam War was more than just a war, it was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the complexities of global politics. Despite the efforts of the South and their American allies, the grip of communism was tightening. As the 1960s rolled in, the war in Vietnam took a drastic turn. Conflict and tension escalated, leading to a series of significant events that would shape the course of the war. One such event was the Gulf of Tonkin incident in August of 1964. Named after the body of water where it took place, this incident saw two U.S. destroyers, the USS Maddox and the USS Turner Joy, allegedly under attack by North Vietnamese naval vessels. This event, regardless of the controversy surrounding its details, gave President Lyndon B. Johnson the green light to intensify U.S. involvement in Vietnam. As the war raged on, it saw the widespread use of chemical defoliants, the most infamous of which was Agent Orange. This highly toxic herbicide was used by the U.S. military to eliminate forest cover for Viet Cong guerrillas and to destroy crops that might be used to feed them. The effects of Agent Orange were devastating. Not only did it devastate the environment but it also resulted in severe health issues for those exposed to it, effects that are still being felt today. In the early hours of January 31, 1968, the Tet Offensive began. This massive surprise attack by the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese forces targeted over a hundred cities and towns in South Vietnam. Despite being a military failure for the North, the Tet Offensive shook the American public's faith in their government's ability to win the war, leading to widespread protests back home. In the midst of these events, the war's human toll was rising. Both military and civilian casualties were mounting. The psychological impact on soldiers and the physical destruction of the Vietnamese landscape were profound. This was a war that was not only fought on battlefields but in the hearts and minds of those involved. The war was far from over but its toll was already unimaginable. The 1970s brought with it a glimmer of hope, as peace finally seemed within reach. The decade started with the Paris Peace Accords in 1973, 
a monumental agreement that represented the first significant stride towards ending the Vietnam War. The Accords were a testament to years of tireless diplomatic negotiations, where both sides finally agreed to a ceasefire and the withdrawal of American troops. However, the road to peace was still fraught with challenges. The withdrawal of American troops marked the beginning of a new era. For the Vietnamese, it was a time of uncertainty, and for Americans, it was a time of reflection. The war had taken a significant toll, and the scars were deep, both physically and emotionally. As the American soldiers left, the North Vietnamese forces advanced, culminating in the fall of Saigon in April of 1975. This marked the end of the Vietnam War, but it was also the beginning of a new chapter in Vietnam's history. Saigon, a symbol of the old regime, was renamed Ho Chi Minh City in honor of the late North Vietnamese leader. The aftermath of the war was a time of significant change. Vietnam, a country torn apart by years of conflict, was now unified under communist rule. The government embarked on a mission to rebuild the nation, focusing on the development of industry and agriculture. The goal was to create a socialist-oriented market economy, a unique blend of communist ideals and capitalist strategies. However, the unification process was not without its challenges. The war had left the country devastated, and the task of rebuilding was monumental. Millions of people had been displaced, infrastructure was in ruins, and the economy was in shambles. The government faced the daunting task of healing a nation deeply wounded by years of war. In the years that followed, Vietnam underwent a significant transformation, slowly emerging from the shadows of a devastating conflict. The country we see today is a testament to the resilience and determination of the Vietnamese people who rose from the ashes of war to build a nation that is vibrant, dynamic, and forward-looking. The war had ended, but its echoes would be heard long after the last shots were fired. The Vietnam War, a conflict that spanned decades, changed the lives of millions and reshaped the world order. A war that began as a fight against the spread of communism, it evolved into something much more complex, effectively altering the course of history. A conflict that was not only fought on battlegrounds, but also in the hearts and minds of people, both in Vietnam and around the globe. For the Vietnamese people, the war was a crucible that tested the resilience and spirit of a nation. The aftermath of the war led to a Vietnam that was physically scarred, but not broken. Their journey from a war-torn nation to a thriving country is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Vietnamese people. Across the Pacific, in the United States, the war stirred a wave of social and political changes. It spurred a vibrant anti-war movement, leading to profound shifts in American society. The war challenged the trust of the American people in their government, setting the stage for a more skeptical and questioning public. On the global stage, the Vietnam War reshaped the dynamics of power and politics. It brought to light the limitations of military might, revealing that wars could not always be won by sheer force. It triggered a rethinking of foreign policy strategies, with an increased emphasis on diplomacy and negotiation over military intervention. In summary, the Vietnam War was more than a military conflict. It was a societal and political upheaval that left deep imprints on the world. It was a war that tested the mettle of nations, that shaped the course of history, and that continues to influence our world today. As we look back on this chapter of history, let it serve as a stark reminder of the costs of conflict. May the lessons of the past guide us towards a future of peace and understanding. That's the story of the Vietnam War, a chapter of history that serves as a stark reminder of the costs of conflict.